Let us pray. Behind closed doors, afraid. That, O oh Lord, was how your disciples found themselves that first Easter evening. Risen Lord, you appeared and said, Peace be with you. In the world today, O oh God, so many places lack peace. Those places where lockdowns are in place. Where people are indoors struggling with relationships. A lack of space and freedom causing added pressure. There are those who are wrestling with emotions because they've not been able to be beside some of their loved ones as they would have liked at significant moments from birthdays to serious illness to departing and their time on earth. Those patients, residents and staff in hospitals and care homes in so many places around the world where staff are stretched, where resources are scarce, where illness either threatens or dominates, and those suffering the pain of bereavement. We remember them, Lord. We remember those living in places of turmoil where wars still rage, or places where echoes of old troubles are rearing their ugly heads. We pray for those people and situations uppermost in our minds and we lift them to you now in this silence. God of love, God of peace, hear our prayers. Lord, so many places lack peace. As you breathe on the disciples and breathe your spirit, we pray that you may breathe your spirit and your peace on these situations. May your peace offer some respite in the midst of today's concerns. May it point to better days to come and may it lead and guide in what people should do. Lord, as well as peace, you give the Holy Spirit your presence with us in all we do. May we be guided by that Spirit to offer help and convey peace wherever possible. God of love, light, peace and hope, hear our prayers through Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Saviour. In his name we pray. Amen. After the blessing, we will listen to the hymn, Make me a channel of your peace. But now I leave you with a blessing. On that first Easter evening, Jesus spoke, Peace be with you. On the next Sunday evening, with Thomas present also, Jesus spoke again, Peace be with you. These are words for these Sundays, and these are words for today. Peace be with you. And may the blessing of God, who sent his Son, who spoke these words, and who inspires us still, may be with you all, today, tomorrow, and every tomorrow, forevermore. Amen. <laughs>